Hello, my friends, it's Miss Delion. So today's story is about the three little pigs. Now I know we have read the three little pigs before last week, but this story is different from the other. So we're going to read the three little pigs together. And the author of this book is Paul Galden. So he is a person who wrote the story. So let's see how different this Three Little Pigs book is from the other. Are there three pigs? Yep, there's three. One, two, three. Let's get started. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there was an old sow with three little pigs. She had no money to keep them, so she sent them off to seek their fortune. So the mom didn't have enough money to keep her three little pigs. So she said, go off on your own and make homes for yourselves. So off they go to build themselves a home. The first little pig met a man with a bundle of straw and said to him, Please, man, give me that straw to build a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with it. So he found a man with straw, and now he's building his house. Along came a wolf. He knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig. Let me come in. No, no, said the little pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So the wolf huffed and puffed and blew the house in and he ate up. The first little pig. Mm. He ate the little pig. He blew down his house and he ate him up. No more little pigs. The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks and said, Please, man, give me those sticks to build me a house. So the man did. And the little pig built his house with them. So now the second pig found what to build his house? Sticks. Then along came the wolf and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed some more. And at last, he blew the house in, and he ate up the second little pig. Mm. Oh my goodness, he's already eaten two pigs. There's only how many left? One more. Oh no, do you think he's gonna eat that one too? Let's find out. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks and said, please man, give me those bricks to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with them. So now the third little pig is building his house made out of what? Bricks. Soon the wolf came along and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Well, he huffed, <gasps> when he puffed, <gasps> When he huffed, when he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, 
but he could not blow the house in. Why do you think he can't blow the house made out of bricks down? Because bricks are very strong. They're very heavy. They can't be blown down. Not like straw and sticks. Let's see what he does. At last the wolf stopped, huffing and puffing, and said, Little pig, I know where there is a nice field of turnips. Where? said the little pig. On Mr. Smith's farm, said the wolf. I will come for you tomorrow morning and we will go together and get some turnips for dinner. Very well, said the little pig. What time will you come? Oh, six o'clock, said the wolf. Hmm. So he's telling this little pig that there's some turnips nearby for him to eat. And he wants to go pick them with him. You think it's a trick? I don't know, let's find out. Well, the little pig got up at five. He went to Mr. Smith's farm and got the turnips before the wolf came to his house. Little pig, are you ready? asked the wolf. The little pig said, ready? I have been and come back again and I got a nice pot full of turnips for my dinner. So he went before the wolf came. The wolf was very angry, but then he thought of another way to get the little pig. So he said, little pig, I know where there is a nice apple tree. Where, said the little pig. Down at Merry Garden, replied the wolf. I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow morning and we will pick some apples. So now he wants to pick apples with this little pig. And he said he's coming at five o'clock to pick them up. Let's see what happens. Well, the little pig got up the next morning at four o'clock and went off for the apples. He wanted to get back home before the wolf came, but it was a long way to Merry Garden. And then he had to climb the tree and just as he was climbing back down with his basket full of apples, he saw the wolf coming. Little pig, said the wolf, you got here before me. Are the apples nice? Mm. You think he's going to eat them? Very nice, said the little pig. I will throw one down to you. So he threw the apple as far as he could. While the wolf ran to pick it up, the little pig jumped down and ran all the way home. The next day, the wolf came back again and said to the little pig, Little pig, there is a fair at Shack Glen this afternoon. Would you like to go? Oh, yes, said the little pig. When will you come to get me? At three, said the wolf. Oh, no. So now he's inviting the pig to a fair. Let's see what happens. He really wants this pig. Well, the little pig went off at two o'clock and bought a butter churn at the fair. He was going home with it when he saw the wolf coming. The little pig jumped into the butter churn to hide. The churn fell over and rolled down the hill with the little pig in it. This frightened the wolf so much that he turned around and ran all the way home. So the wolf hasn't caught this little pig yet. This little pig is very smart. Later, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him what happened. A great rolling thing came rolling down the hill right at me, said the wolf. Ha! I frightened you then, said the little pig. I went to the fair and bought a butter churn. And when I saw you, I got inside it and rolled down the hill. The wolf was very angry indeed. I'm going to climb down your chimney and eat you up, he said. When the little pig heard the wolf on the roof, oh, he's climbing down. He hung a pot full of water in the fireplace. Then he built a blazing fire. 
Just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little pig took the cover off the pot and in fell the wolf. The little pig quickly put on the cover again, boiled up the wolf, and ate him for supper. The little pig caught him and he ate him up. And the little pig lived happily ever after. So now the little pig is happy. He doesn't have to worry about the wolf because he was able to trick the wolf. All right, friends, click on the next slide to see what activity you're going to do for the three little pigs. I'll see you soon. Bye.